if you like to extend the internet you can extend either by use of cable or by use of wireless uh, router or extender you can also use your the, your laptop instead of using wi-fi you can use a RAN cable Welcome guys, this is Joatech Electrical Contractors Limited YouTube channel where we learn to practice and in our today's video I would like to show you how to wire and configure and commission this router. This is a in-wall process router. I'm going to show you how to wire it to configure and even commission okay so when you are wearing this router you don't need a crimping tool okay i'll show you the reason why you don't need it so come with me i'll show you how to wire it So what you should know is that uh, this router it needs power and then this is a RAN cable or Ethernet cable and uh, you must provide power like this is light and this is neutral and then you also have to crimp uh, the Ethernet cable. The reason why you don't need a crimping tool to crimp RJ45 connector it's because these losses in all router uh, comes with this kind of termination of the Ethernet cable so once you put your cables here in uh, uh, accordingly following the color code you just press uh, you have been given an option A and an option B. I'm saying you have been given option A and option B uh, when it comes to arrangement of color code. And uh, the A, we are used of A, but you can still use. You start with orange white orange green white blue blue white green brown white and then brown uh, when we are creeping uh ethernet cable we do follow the option which is uh on where we start i mean we do we do follow option b where we start with uh orange white okay orange green white brown uh blue blue white green brown white and brown okay in our previous video we did a video demonstrating how to cream rj45 connector so in this video uh we're not going to use a creepy tool and I have explained why and uh, without further ado allow me to show you how to go about it if you have not watched our previous video regarding how to crimp RJ45 connector uh, or to crimp Ethernet cable which is CAT6 kindly go the ring is below and watch the full video so without further ado, allow me to show you how to go about it. I'm going to start with stripping my power cable. This is neutral and this is life. Okay. 
you can use plus or long nose then after that you terminate your cable accordingly knife neutral so let's start with neutral make sure you tighten your cable to avoid those connection then we go to life you drive your screw in you can use a star or uh, a big uh, face tester from there then we go to our cut six uh, allow me to strip it so when you are drawing the cable or when you are doing the keyboarding for this kind of router i have said you must consider providing the power and then you can draw the cut seats ethernet cable so i'll cut my i'll have strip my cable up to that level and then cut this up to there i don't need to have a very very long cable inside the box and something you notice is that these inward losses routers are being terminated and fixed in a switch box which is a single switch box it will give you a problem a little problem especially if you are if your switch box uh, was plastered uh, on a shallow service of the wall however if it is in deep or it was plastered inside the plaster and it is deep it will not give you any problem so i have said we are going to use we have been given option a and option b so i'm going to use option b if you put your router like this it shows that you're supposed to start with brown but uh, your router should be facing this side as you can see uh, even our ones are now upright and when you'll be terminating it will be like this so we start with uh, so this is what you do you put your cable here and then do like this this cable is now found you can't move it from there then from orange white you go to orange from orange you go to green white you have you already if you are if you're not conversant with the color code you can refer uh, what is on the router the color codes and print them uh, according to the way they are indicated so from the green white go to blue this is how you also crimp uh, RJ45 connector so this is blue so from blue we go to blue white we are almost there then from blue white we go to green
from green to brown white and then from brown white if you if you are conversant with internet caracos you don't need to confirm from here or you know to refer from uh, what is indicated here because you already know so I'm confirming I'm supposed to start with brown that is a uh, orange white orange green white blue blue white green brown white and brown then after doing that I have provided the power and my Ethernet cable uh, is perfect then what follows is to to fix uh, my router or to fit my router into a switch box <coughs> And then after that, you make sure that you have driven in your screws. Remember, before you fit your router, you must clean the Switch box that are it. You can work. I have said you have to check the level of your router to make sure that. Uh, It is straight. Take both doors, vertical and horizontal. And what I see is that then from there you can tighten your screws. Before you are done, confirm. Oh, it's good. Tighten your screws to make sure that your router is firm. And then it's kind of a screwless accessory. You have to return this cover like that. Then from there, you are supposed to power your router uh, I said you must provide your router with power so what we are going to do is that we are going to provide uh, I mean we are going to power our router let's put it on uh, yeah as you can see we have switched it on and it is indicating some light here so light one is power all the lights are in blue color so this is power it tells you it's been powered we have this which is wa to show you that the router has been connected with the source of the internet you can either source the uh, the internet from the router or from the desktop switch okay either from the desktop switch or from the router and this tells you that it has been connected to the internet and then we have wi-fi and we have usb 4 wi-fi and usb we have run run is this cable okay this is the cable if you like to extend the internet you can extend either by use of cable or by use of wireless uh, router or extender you can also use your your laptop 
instead of using Wi-Fi, you can use a RAN cable. A RAN cable is a cable, is a cable that I discussed in our previous video, whereby you have to crimp both sides. You crimp the side which is getting inside here, and the other end on the other side which is going to the laptop. By doing so, you are going to provide your laptop, your desktop, your desktop with internet. So uh, our router has been powered, uh, it is connected to the internet and now our Wi-Fi is ready uh, to be used once we, we configure and commission. To commission uh, this router, what you're supposed to do is you get into a you can use uh, your laptop or your phone to commission it and when i say to commission it is to authorize this router to start functioning or to start working or to start uh, serving uh, the person who is going to use this home okay so to commission this router you're supposed to use uh, the default password the default password is triple six uh six triple eight eight uh and then after that you can be able to log in to the router and once you log in to the router you are supposed to change the name okay and to log into the router you're supposed to use a uh, username as process and then the password is process and you'll be logged in once you log into this router you're required to change the name uh, and then by changing the name you have already commissioned or you have already authorized this router to start function i'll show you from here to the next step thank you for watching